what's going on YouTube I'm Alex and today I'm taking a look at the MXQ 4k so this is the new version of the MXQ the last year's version used the Amlogic S805 chip this one is using the ROG chip 3229 this one also has 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage I'm gonna show you what comes in the box with it and I'll show you how it performs MXQ 4K comes in this box right here on the front of the box. We just have a picture of the TV box itself and uh, some information about it right here at the bottom. On this side, we just see the OTT TV box 4K Ultra HD. The same thing on this side, and again on this side, and on the other side. On the back, we just have some basic information about the TV box itself. Inside the box, we get the remote. It's a very basic remote and uh, if you want a better experience with this box, I do recommend uh, using a wireless keyboard. We also get an HDMI cable and the manual. The manual is uh, black and white, looks very familiar uh, with any other uh, manuals from other TV boxes. If you never had a TV box before, uh, this will uh, help you get uh, started. If you did have a TV box before, you probably don't need to look at this manual. The box is made out of plastic entirely, on the front we just have the MXQ 4K logo. Even though you cannot see at this time, um, in the center of the box here we have a blue LED that uh, turns on blue when the box is on. On the back of the box we have a USB port, the SPDIF, the AV, the HDMI port, the internet and the power adapter uh, plug. On the right hand side of the box we just have a SD card slot and three other USB ports. The back is also made of plastic and on the corners there we just have some rubber so the box doesn't slide. First I'm gonna plug in the box so we can see the boot up animation and we see the MXQ 4K and the MBOX logo. For this review I will be using a wireless keyboard and if you want to check this keyboard out I left uh, a link to the video just on the top right corner. As soon as the box comes on we get to this launcher, it's a very basic launcher for all the MX uh, boxes. I'm gonna start by going to settings. So here we have the usual uh, setup, the Wi-Fi, the internet and this box doesn't have uh, Bluetooth. If I go into storage right here, uh, we are going to see the total space available, so the internal storage is right there. And we also have uh, another 5 gigs about here. So one on top here and another uh, 4.5 here, so about 6 gigs left out of the 8 uh, of internal storage. If I go into languages and input, I'm um, quickly going to scroll through whatever languages are available. Hopefully you can see the language that you are looking for. So quite a few languages and this is quite normal uh, for this type of TV boxes. I will open the display here so we can see the maximum resolution uh, available. So the maximum resolution for my uh, TV is this one right here on top but we have a whole bunch of resolutions to choose from. And if I go into sound uh, and sound devices manager these are the outputs uh, available, so depending if you have a uh, surround sound, you can uh, choose one of these. And lastly about device right here, um, the Android version, uh, it's Android 4.4.4 and this is the model MXQ 4K. Back to the launcher here, uh, I'm just going to go to my apps, um, I'm going to show you what apps come pre-installed, so we get this booster uh, app, this is basically a cleaner so you can uh, kill all the tasks in the background. File Explorer, the Gmail app, Kodi, Maps, uh, the Play Store which is very important, Netflix and Showbox. I do believe this is going to be like an older version of Showbox uh, and uh, you'll have to uninstall it and reinstall the new version because this one cannot uh, update itself. If I go into the settings app here, uh, it's basically the same settings app that you've seen uh, Earlier, however, this is made uh, slightly nicer and uh, easier to to look at. So it's uh, it's just a settings app that's made easier to use. This uh, box comes pre-installed with Kodi 
15.2 I believe so if I go into system info here we can see some information um, about the device the screen resolution here uh, it's at 1080p and that's uh, very good I've also noticed that uh, this uh, box comes pre-installed with quite a few add-ons so I'm just gonna go into the add-ons here and all these add-ons that I'm gonna scroll through are pre-installed so you don't actually have to to install anything I see show box sports devil and a whole bunch of uh, other stuff so yeah quite a few things uh, already installed I'm quickly gonna show you how um, a TV show works so I'm just gonna try opening any any of these uh, streams here so let's uh, let's see if this one works you know how it is with code is some work some don't depending how long uh, the movie or the TV show is on so uh, let's see if this one works just so I can give you an idea how smooth uh, it goes and it does seem uh, to go quite good and uh, that's how uh, Kodi works uh, on this TV box so very very good online streaming apps like Showbox for example so this is the new version I uninstalled the one that came with the box and installed the new one so I'm just gonna play a random uh, movie here sometimes you may get some commercials I've selected 720p and I'm gonna press watch now depending on uh, your internet connection it will go slower or faster my internet is quite slow I just wanted to play a bit of it so you can see how uh, smooth and uh, how well it goes and it goes extremely good even though my internet connection is not that fast the TV box comes pre-installed with this pack uh, TV so I'm imagining this is like a Pakistanese uh, thing so I won't be watching anything here but it does come pre-installed with this if uh, you're wondering the Antutu score is sitting at about 20,000 and this is quite the same with all the boxes that have the rock chip 3229 on the Geekbench 3 we get a multi-core score of 1008 and this is a bit lower than uh, other boxes running the exact same processor and the single core it's about the same with um, all the other ones if I scroll down a bit uh, we can just see the operating system which is 4.4.4 .4 .4, uh, and the model uh, of the TV box with the root checker app I'm just gonna see if the box has uh, root access and I'm just gonna press verify and no this box does not have root access so you will have to actually root this box so I have installed on the box a SD card it's this one right here and three USB sticks well actually two of them are USB sticks one it's actually a hard drive a 500 gig hard drive so I'm just gonna open uh, every one of them and I'll just play some random uh, files let's see what's uh, on this one so this one right here uh, it's quite a big file I believe it's a 4 gig file so it's on 1080p I'm just gonna play it with its uh, player just so you have an idea how um, smooth it goes and I'm just gonna skip forward a bit and it does go uh, extremely well I'm gonna go back I'll uh, choose a different USB stick so let me try this one so this is the 500 gig um, hard drive so I'm just gonna play a random thing from it uh, the quality of this file it's very bad so don't expect anything uh, too good but I'm just playing it so you can see how uh, how well uh, it goes all right so that one works good and uh, I just have another one that has a 4k video on it so I believe it's this one so it's gonna be this one right here and this file right here it's um, actually recorded my note 5 and it's in 4k it's a very short file And it does seem to work uh, very good as well I'll also show you 
a video in 720p so this was the 4k one so I'm just gonna go back and this one it's at 720p and I'm just gonna play a bit of it again so you can see how uh, how well uh, and how smooth it goes and it seems to go very good as well so all the video formats that I've tried uh, work really good on this uh, TV box on the main launcher here um, we have this app the task killer app so basically if you press this once it just closes uh, everything that's running in the background and the black bar at the bottom here you can actually hide it by pressing this and then the bar is gone you're gonna have to lift it up with the mouse uh, if you want it back currently i'm playing asphalt 8 i have a ps3 controller connected to the box with the cable keep in mind this box doesn't have bluetooth so if you want to play any games you're gonna need a cable uh, connected to the box so i'll be playing a bit of this game so you have an idea how well the game goes And as you've seen, uh, Asphalt 8 uh, works really, really good on this box. I have the YouTube app open. Uh, I'm going to play one of my own videos. Uh, we'll check out the maximum resolution available on this box. So the maximum resolution available is 720p. Uh, usually this is a problem like YouTube app, not necessarily the box, because the box could easily play 1080p. So the maximum resolution you're going to get on YouTube is 720p. I have Chrome open uh, right now, I have the Globe and Mail open. I'm just going to open a random uh, article here. And uh, we'll see how long it takes uh, for it to load. I'm on Wi-Fi. So now that it's loaded, I'm scrolling up and down. So it seems to go uh, quite good and quite fast uh, for scrolling and stuff. Trying to cast the screen from my Android phone to this TV box doesn't work. Uh, I do believe this is because the box is on Android 4.4 and my phone is on Android 6. And I don't think they're that compatible. So basically from Android 6, you're not going to be able to cast the screen onto this box. There are quite a few TV boxes using uh, this new Rock chip processor, the 3229 uh, lately. Uh, I do like this one uh, because the software seems to be well optimized on it. However, the MX4, which is uh, having the exact same setup, has Bluetooth as well. And I do prefer that one just because it has Bluetooth. Other than that, the box seems to go really good for all the tasks that I... Uh, tried on it so it's a really good and decent box uh, for the price thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe